Hi, so my name is Ben DeGuzman, and uh, it's my job to tell you what all of this means. <laughs> no, not really. Um, I am uh, the co-director for programs at the National Queer Asian Pacific Islander Alliance. Um, how many of you have heard that group before? Wow. Before you heard about this event. Nice. All right. Um, I am pleasantly surprised because we are a relatively new federation of the 30 plus Asian American, South Asian, Southeast Asian, and Pacific Islander LGBT organizations around the country. Um, we are, uh, I'm based in Washington, D.C., and uh, I am actually here to talk to you a little bit about um, comprehensive immigration reform. We've heard a little bit about it, and uh, what I mean by that is both on the policy end, some of the provisions um, that we've been discussing, some of the ways in which uh, laws and policies affect LGBT immigrants, um, as well as some of the political strategies around which we want to make sure that um, laws get passed that will better, um, that will improve um, the lives of our communities as immigrants. Um, so I'm here to provide the Beltway perspective. Um, and all too often, you know, what does that mean? It's like, oh, what's the intelligence? What do we know? Like, when's the bill dropping? Who's behind it? Like, what's the strategy? And um, all of these things are important, and I hope that in both my remarks, as well as the question and answer to, uh, that will follow, that we rely on um, the collective expertise in the room, um, as well as what I'm hearing in Washington, D.C., to answer the questions um, that we need in order to seek the change that we want. But what I really want to do with you uh, in the small time I have is to share with you about how I think we should be approaching this subject um, and this work um, in the first place. You know, by thinking intentionally about how we even frame these issues to begin with, of course we're talking about you know, strategic communications and messaging and some of these kind of tactical things, but on a more fundamental level, we're also talking about how we construct a dialogue, whom we're including and how we include them. Um, marginalized communities, like many of those here in the room, know what it's like to be thrown under the bus and so, you know, with that idea in our heads, I want us to hold that, and I would, in fact, like to throw that term itself under the bus. Um, certainly the debates around... You can laugh at that. <laughs> um, no, because uh, in all seriousness, the, the debates around CIR, um, I'm gonna, if I shorthand comprehensive immigration reform by calling it CIR, you will have to forgive me. Um, perhaps I've been in Washington, D.C. too long. Um, <laughs> Okay, I'll get more minutes that way. Um, but certainly all of these um, issues are very complex, and you know, uh, but I, at the end of the day, I don't think that kind of construction is, is helpful. Um, certainly deals are gonna be struck in the legislative process, and you know, sometimes we, many of us are going to feel like our communities are more directly affected by some of the things that get bartered away than others. But what I think our coalition work needs to do, though, is to find a way to let those of us who have to throw rocks at the process do so without hitting any of us on the way over. Right? 